I'm just going to prep the skin with this Makeup Forever HD High Definition Elixir. My hands are clean. So the elixir gives your skin more hydration and it's oil free. So the reason why we want hydration for our wedding day is to help our skin um, hold the foundation for longer. So I'm going to use the Radiance Primer from Becca. It's illuminating and brightening formula. So this is a little bit gold. I don't know if you can sort of see it on my hand. It's got um, little iridescent particles in it and it's a little bit of a gold shade. So that gives your skin lots of glow and radiance. So again, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD foundation. So this is lovely for your wedding day. It's really ultra light, um, but gives it's quite pigmented, so it gives a good um, coverage. And Phoebe has gorgeous skin, so we don't need to stress too much about coverage. And this colour is 128. It's a wee bit too dark, but I'm going to apply it really lightly. I want to match her to the rest of her body, which is a bit warmer. So when you use a paint pot, it's going to help the eyeshadow last longer. Well, actually, it'll stop the eyeshadow from moving at all. Should move on the skin. The next colour I'm going to use is Epitont 84, the um, Illusion d'Ombre by Chanel. And this one's like a greeny grey shade, fairly metallic. I love it. This is my MAC shader brush. It's a nice flat shader brush to apply this eyeshadow. And I'm just going to pop it all over the mobile lid or um, from the lash line to just below the crease and into the inner corner and the outer corner. Alright, so now I'm going to smudge a little bit of smolder, this pencil is so short, um, into the lash line and smolder from MAC is a very, um, very creamy and very, um, this, this eye pencil will move and will smudge. And I'm just going to put it on the outer corner because then just along the lash line. Then I'm going to smudge it out. Quite messy. Never fear. Now I'm going to use Carbon, this one here, which is a matte black from MAC to blend this in. And I'm going to use the Sigma E75 brush, which is an angled, um, angled brush. Close for me. And I'm just going to smudge this smolder and flick it out. I'm just going to buff that in a little bit more using a clean E25 by Sigma.
this for me? So I'm just going to use the Rimmel um, Scandalize Retro Glam Mascara. I love this one. Sit down. A bit clumpy. But I'm just going to run a um, clean mascara through them. I'm just going to get my matte bronzer from MAC and I'm going to get my um, Sigma E35 so it's a little bit more of a feathier buffing brush and I'm just going to pop this in the socket so if you look down for me just to blend that out a little bit more. I'm just going to clean up under Phoebe's eye where all the fallout has happened and I'm just using my moisturiser with a cotton tip. So if you just look, if you can look there. I'm going to conceal under Phoebe's eye using the Pro Long Wear Concealer and I'm just using it with the um, Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush. I'm just going to apply it under the eye. And this colour is NW25. So I'm just going to set under the eyes using the Chanel um, Powder Universel Libre. I'm not very good with French. But this is number 30 natural. So this is like a, just a setting powder. It's, um, it's basically translucent but it has a little colour in it. So look up for me. And I'm setting it using the tapered highlighter brush, the F35 from Sigma. This brush is beautiful because it just sits really nicely underneath the eyes. So I'm actually going to use the Fibre Brow Enhancer by Silk. So I'm just going to thicken up the outer, the outer brow a bit more and then I'm just going to line underneath here and brush it upwards in the inner corner so it's not too heavy on the inner corner just on the bottom lash line I'm just going to get my Sigma E75 that I used earlier and I'm going to just take off a little bit of the excess product off the brush and look up for me Just really lightly do the outer corner. And I might get some of that um, epitaut and blend that in. Look up. And just to lighten up the inner corner, I'm going to use the Vanilla Pigment um, by MAC down to your shoulder. I'm just going to pop that into the inner corner. Blend it up. Okay. On the cheeks, I'm going to use my favourite blush, which is oh, is the Cantaloupe there by Mac. This is a pro product. I'm very sorry, guys. It's just a matte peachy tone. Smile for me that on the apples. I'm just going to highlight the cheekbones using the vanilla again and I'm going to use the brush that I used earlier, the tapered highlighter brush from Sigma, the E30 F35. I'm just going to pop that on the 
high points of the cheek. I'm going to use the um, Red Cherry Not Free Flare Medium Black Individual Lashes. That was a bit of a mouthful. And I'm using the Ardell um, Dark Lash Glue. Just look down for me. So the reason why I want Phoebe to look down is when your eyes are closed, it crinkles up on the inner corner here. Um, and it's harder to spread them out nice and evenly. Um, unfortunately, with them open, it's a little uncomfortable. But I'm just going to apply these medium-sized the whole way along and nice and evenly. And the reason why I love the Not Free is because it's um, harder to see them at the base of the lash in comparison to the ones with the Not the knot ones show up a little bit more. <laughs> so I'm just going to move on to the lips. I'm just going to use the Rimmel Exaggerate Full Colour Lip Liner. So I'm just going to use the MAC Pure Zen Colour for her lips. The lip liner has a little bit more of a blue tinge and I want to bring a little bit more peachy back into the lips. This is a little bit of a pinky peachy colour. And I'm applying it with the lip shader Sigma E56. Going to finish it off and set it using the Urban Decay, whoop, using the Urban Decay um, makeup setting spray, and it's meant to hold the foundation on and help it last. So just close your eyes. Now your face looks a little bit wet after you've sprayed this on, but it does dry it matte, so you don't need to worry about looking sweaty after you've had that sprayed on. And that is your final makeup look.